Three loyal subjects have joined us for an audience with this majestic machine. Will a £10,000 victory be bestowed today? Let's find out on Tipping Point. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Liv, a marketing student from Birmingham. I'm Dave, a business development manager from Preston. And I'm Hazel, a health visitor from London. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. <laughs> All three of you will be going through to play into round two, but, of course, you want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game, so do keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Right, everybody ready? Hands on your buzzers, here comes your first question. In the popular nursery rhyme about a merry old soul, which king had fiddlers three? Hazel. Old King Cole. It was Old King Cole, yes. Nicely done, Hazel. First correct answer for you, so the first choice is yours. Would you like to play or pass to Dave or Liv? Can I pass, please? You can, of course. To Dave? Right, Dave. Sorry, Dave. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, come on then, Dave, where should we put the first uh, counter? Please, can you have drop zone three? You can. Fire up three, please. So, there's that mystery on the bottom shelf there. Little ghost drop Ooh, as it comes I down, think Dave. That might be okay. Is it going to split them? Oh, no, there you go. Go on, go on. Yes, just oh, peel play. those two over. Point going to go. Yes, it is. Nicely done, Dave. That's a real have Got some counters in. Your yes. First two out with the first one in. Never easy. So £100 for you there. Let's take that and put it into your bank, Dave. Well done. You're off the mark with £100 and you've still got two left to play. Here's your next question. On the cover of the January 2021 edition of German Vogue magazine, Lenny Klum is pictured with which model who is also her mother? Dave. Heidi Klum. Heidi. Yes, you're absolutely right, Dave. Are you going to play again? Seeing as I got passed on the first one, I'm going to pass it to Hazel, please. Okay. <laughs> right then, Hazel, here we go. Where should we put your counter? Drop zone two, please. OK, drop zone two. <laughs> yeah, slides down and settles well there, Hazel. Are they going to go? Those silver ones look quite close. Yes, mm -hmm. just a couple over the top shelf. But <laughs> nothing over the bottom. A couple perched precariously. Oh, he's going to hold on, Hazel. Nothing from that first drop, I'm afraid. Here's your next question, guys. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and Splash Mountain are both attractions at theme parks associated with which major film studio? Liv. Is it Disney? It is Disney, yes. Well done, Liv. Kay. Right, would you like to play? Yeah, I think I'll play, please. OK, where do you want to go? Uh, drop Zone 2. Drop Zone 2 it is. Oh, OK, she's flat. Very quick, very okay. quick. Can you get those couple there? No! Oh, no! <laughs> oh. Ooh. It's like they're going to stay stuck to that shelf, so nothing from your first drop. Here's your next question. Eurotunnel Le Shuttle is a train service for vehicles between the UK and France. Dave? Uh, Dover. No, it's not. Running beneath which stretch of water was what I was going to go and say. Sorry. And that's the English Channel was the answer we were after, Dave. So yep. I'm afraid we have to steal one of your counters. That's gone into the penalty pot. You'll all be playing for that at the end of the round. You've got one left to play, Dave. Next question. An excellent idea or invention is often described as the best thing since sliced what? Hazel. Bread. Bread indeed. Hazel, are you going to play? Yeah, I'll play. Uh, drops on two, please, Drops then. on two for Hazel, please. Liv just left those counts on the top shelf. There's a lot on the bottom. Oh, 
That's perfect. Oh. <laughs> now, can you get a little nudge to take them down? Oh! oh. Hazel then just popped up. Oh, no way. Liv's counters might survive. No! Oh, <laughs> oh Hazel, I'm so sorry. Oof. That is really hmm. cruel. Sadly, Hazel, you're down to your last counter. Here's your next question. Denny McCarthy scored a hole in one during the 2021 Players' Championship in which sport? Dave. Golf. It is golf, yes. Right, Dave, one counter left. Do you want to play it? Yeah, I'll have to. Um, I'm going to go for drops on two, please, Ben. Fire two up. Surely. Oh, oh, that's good. Please be good. Liv thinks it's good. Please it does be look good. Like it could be good. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Kept you waiting for a moment there, Dave. Oh, that was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. I think you get a lot more than that, Dave. Look yeah, at them all. that is There's well and truly set up. On the tipping point. Three counters did drop, though, Dave. Let's take those three, that £150. <laughs> Put it into your bank. It's going to leave you on £250. Oh, you have now used all three counters, Dave. Thank You've you. got £250 for the time being. Yeah. You are out. So, Liv, you've still got two counters. Hazel, you've got one counter left to play. This next question is for you two. A carbohydrate is a large biological molecule comprised of carbon, oxygen, and which other chemical element? Hazel. Hydrogen. It is hydrogen, yes, Hazel, well done. Question is, do you want to play or do you want to pass it to Liv? I think I shall give it a go and play it. Let's um, do it. Let's see, drop zone two. Fire up two, please. As long as it's not too far right, I think you're in here, Hazel. Can we get something over the top shelf? Fingers crossed. It's been so <laughs> tricky till now. There, is oh, this going to send it down? Is it? Oh, hey! hey! That was snuck <laughs> in. Well done. Nice. Eight counters for you there, Hazel. Four hundred pounds, which would have been enough on its own to put you in the lead, but we can double it up and give you another four hundred. So suddenly things look a lot healthier in your bank. £800 there, let's put it in. So put you out in the lead. That's all three of your counters used now, so for the time being, you are out. Right, Liv, it's just you left in. Okay. It's just you. You don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give the correct answer to both these questions to put the counters into the machine. Here's your first one. What word for a part of the day comes before standard in the name of a free daily London newspaper? Okay, morning. Mm, it's oh, evening. Evening. Evening, evening standard, evening Liv, standard. I'm afraid. Oh, so dear. we have to steal one of your counters. That's going into the penalty pot. There's now two you'll all be playing for. Okay. Again, Liv, you've got to give me the correct answer to put this counter into the machine. Okay. Here we go. The Righteous Brothers song Unchained Melody features in the iconic pottery wheel scene in which 1990s romantic film? Is it Ghost? It is Ghost, yes. Oh, thank well okay. done. Got one. Liv, one last counter for you here. We need to get you in the game. Yes. Where are you going to go? Oh, I don't know. I reckon drop zone two, please. Fire up two, please. If it comes on the left, there's a lot there, isn't there, Liv? Five counters and you'll catch Dave. Left. Ooh, oh. Not quite far enough left. Oh, yeah. dear. Anything coming over? Oh, there you go. Something. Just snuck through. Can we get you something? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh dear. Sadly, nothing from that counter of yours. So as things stand, Hazel is leading with £800. Dave has £250. Liv's got nothing in the bank. But it's not over. We have two counters up for grabs in the penalty pot. Going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put both these counters into the machine. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Good luck, everybody. Here comes your penalty pot question. How many vowels are there in the word superior? Dave. Four. There is four, yes. <laughs> That's a lucky guess. Lucky guess. S-U-P-E-R-I-O-R. -E <laughs> Dave, well done. You get both these counters. Wow. Where do you want to put them? Please, could you have drops on two? Of course you can. Far up two. Oh, That's... Too quick and it's riding. Awful. Oh, that was really harsh, Dave. It just flew out, didn't All it? Right. Bit of a kamikaze drop, unfortunately, for you there. So, no got one more, though. Uh, drops on two again, please. Two again. There you go. Ooh, Settles better. Should be okay, hopefully. Over the top. 
Yeah, attacking on Hopefully. two fronts, which is good. Oh, oh my goodness! Dave, you needed 11 to catch Hazel, and that's Thank 14 you. across the tipping point. <laughs> Lovely big drop to finish with, and the wow. penalty pot. Let's take £700 and put it into your bank. And suddenly Dave is leading with £950. Hazel has £800. Liv's got nothing in the bank just yet. <laughs> so join me after the break to which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head and -head a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Timming Point, where Liv, Dave and Hazel are battling it out for the right to play for today's chatbot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Uh, Dave, after that fabulous drop from the penalty spot, you are now leading, which means you get to choose. You can play first if you think the machine's ready. Alternatively, you could ask Hazel or Liv to play. i tell you what, I'd like to pass to Liv. Just okay. to see if she's not, obviously. Give her a chance, to be honest. Let's see what can happen here, then, Liv. 45 seconds for Liv, please. Your time starts now. How many football teams compete against each other in the FA Cup final? Uh, 40. Two. In 1991, REM had a UK top ten single with the song Shiny Happy What? Still oh, memories. People. From 1917 until 1921, William Adamson was the leader of which UK political party? Um, Conservative. Labour. Oh. Which detective is the main protagonist of the Dorothy L. Sayers novel, The Five Red Herrings? Pass. Lord Peter Whimsey. Which secondary colour comes before peace in the name of an international environmental organisation? Uh, green. Correct. The geographical region known as Indochina is located entirely on which continent? Asia. Correct. Ben Miller plays Lord Featherington in which Netflix period drama series? The Crown. Bridgerton. <laughs> Who served as the second president of the United States of America? Oh, oh I don't John know. Adams. John Adams. Leave! Oh, two. Two. Not great. How many football teams compete oh against each other? In the final. <laughs> in the FA Cup 40. final. Oh, my days. It's a busy final. It's going to take a while to sort that out. <laughs> right, Liv, you've got two counts put into the machine. To try and catch Hazel, you need 16 to do that. There is a mystery counter on the edge of drop zone three, which might be worth going for. What are you thinking? Uh, yeah, I reckon drop zone three. Bow up three, please. Top shelf. Is it going to get me? Oh, yes. Ah. Be nice to get you something, wouldn't it, Liv? Something. There we go. You're oh, on your way. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Four across the tipping point, which is two hundred pounds. And one more to go in, then, Liv. Yeah, drop zone three again, please. Let's have drop zone three. Get over, get over. Oh, now could that happen? Oh, that's not great. That black hair okay. in the middle. Go on then. Oh! Can we get a little bit of lateral? It's gonna get close. Oh! <laughs> so close. Oh. Really close, Liv. That's very unlucky. That is unlucky. Just one more count, and I think you'd have a crack at it. Sadly, it's just the 200 pounds. It was always gonna be a tough ask, and it's not gonna be enough. Let's take that from the machine, put it into your bank, Liv. That's gonna leave you on 200 pounds. Uh, right, Dave, back to you yes. again. You can choose to play next, or you could ask Hazel to play. Seeing as the mystery is really close to the edge, I think it'd be wise to play, Ben. OK, 45 seconds for Dave, please. Your time starts now. What three-letter word is given to the frozen and solid state of water often used to chill a drink? Ice. Correct. The coastline of the US state of Oregon is on which major ocean? Atlantic. Pacific. Which pop singer had a UK top ten hit in 1989 with the song Dear Jessie? Uh, Bojo. Madonna. In 1984, who did Ted Hughes replace as the UK's Poet Laureate? Uh, don't know. John Betjeman. The 2019 Oscar-nominated film Les Miserables is set in which European country? France. Correct. The NFL Super Bowl is typically held on which day of the weekend? Sunday. Correct. Parma is a brand of liqueur flavoured with which typically red seeded fruit? Uh, grapes. Pomegranate. How to be good and slam are books by which British writer? David Williams. Nick Hornby. Discovered in 2019, the Suello is the world's... Second largest rough example of which gemstone? Diamond. It would have been right with Diamond Dave. Right. We're out of time. Three correct answers right. for you in there. No, it's uh, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Who did you say was the pop star? Did you say Bojo? Bono. Bono. Oh, Bono. <laughs> Bono. I haven't got. I thought a you clue. said Bojo. I think <laughs> Boris Johnson had a pop career. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a clue. Uh, Madonna was yes, who we were after. Close. 
Uh, Dave, three yes. correct answers, so three chances to extend your lead. So where would you like to start? Drop zone three, please. Let's have drop zone three. Ooh, there, that'll that do it. That should be good. And Liv's left it right on the edge. Oh. <laughs> is it going to go? <laughs> there it is. Oh, well done. Oh. Yes. Five across the tipping point for you, Dave. £250. One of them is a mystery prize as well. You've won a boozy brunch afternoon tea picnic hamper courtesy of Piglet's Pantry. My wife will love that. So, yeah, Danielle should be all over Good that. Good stuff. Thank you. Two more to go in, Dave. Drop some four, please. Four this time, please. That looks nicely. OK. It's good and flat, isn't it? Top counter mic. Hold it on. There we oh. go. Tipping point looks pretty strong. Can you disrupt it? Oof. Three sneak out for you there. Let's give you £150, Dave. Takes you up to £400 in the machine. And one more to go in, Dave. Yeah, we'll stick with drops on four, please. Four again, please. I might Dave? split them, to be Does honest. feel a little bit like it might. Yeah. Can you get enough on the mystery, maybe? Oh, yes, you can. That's a surprise. And anything else? Oh, yeah, there we go. Four wow. counters just feed in nicely at the end. So another £200 to finish up with. 600 in total. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank, Dave. That's going to leave you £1,550. That's brilliant, thank you. Right then, Hazel, we come to you. 45 seconds for Hazel, please. Your time starts now. The brand Dreamies typically produces pet food for which domesticated feline animal? Cats. Correct. The Australian film stars Chris and Liam Hemsworth are what relation to each other? Brothers. Correct. E-Day and Chapinsay are part of which island group off the coast of Scotland? Uh, Shetland. The Orkneys. The book A Matter of Facts, One Man's Journey into the Nation's Quiz Obsession is by which former EastEnders star? Pass. Sean Williamson. In a game of Ludo, players take it in turns to roll which cubed item? Dice. Correct. In the book and the 2004 film of the same name, the Polar Express is what mode of transport? Train. Correct. In which month of the year is Martin Luther King Jr. Day observed as a holiday in the United States? August. January. Four correct answers, Hazel. Nicely done. Four counts for you to put into the machine. So where would you like to start? I'll go for drop zone one, Ben. OK, we're going to change it up. Come to drop zone one, please. Not been touched yet, Hazel, so lots there. Okay, settles nicely, pretty central. Can we start to shift the top shell? Yep. And what about the bottom shell? They're just nudging forward nicely. Staying with drop zone one, Hazel. Drop zone one again, Ben, please. Fire it up, please. Nice and flat again. Mm, might split them. I'm not sure. Could be OK. Oh, yes, you not are. bad. There's a big drop yeah. coming here. Yay. Hopefully going to get a few. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> definitely found a little it up. Yep. Definitely pocket at the back of the shelf there, Hazel. Yep. So two more to go in. Yeah, I'll stick with drops on one, please. One again, please. Still need to get something to close this gap. Certainly. OK. Squeeze them over, get right to the edge, maybe. Yeah, there we go. And they've separated nicely. That helped. That does help. Come on now. Yes. Better. Six counters for you, Hazel. £300. Chops the lead considerably. One more to put in. I think I shall stick with drops on one, please, Ben. All right, one, please. Another nice drop like the last one. Took its time, settled mm. nicely, though. Going to move that mystery forward. There's a few on the edge that look vulnerable. Are they going to go for you? Yeah, they yeah, are. Nicely that's done. Good. Thank you. Four more to finish with, so another £200. Takes to 500 in total. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Dave is leading with £1,550. Hazel goes through with £1,300. Liv, I'm so sorry. You've been great. But with £200, we have found your tipping point. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you. It's been so much fun. Thank you. It's been lovely to meet you. So it is Dave and Hazel who will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes.
Welcome back to Tipping Point, where we have just two players remaining, Dave and Hazel. Very well done to both of you for getting this far. Thank you. Uh, we're Thank about you. to find out which one he's going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. Uh, Dave, you're leading, so you yes. can choose. Like the first question, we'd like to offer it to Hazel. Um, I'll go first, because there's a mystery there, so we'll, yeah, we'll go for it. OK, here we go. First question for you, Dave. Which Italian Renaissance artist is portrayed by Aidan Turner in a 2021 biographical drama series? You can play or pass this. Um, there is a few, but uh, I'm not confident, so I'm going to pass it. Right, Hazel, here we go. Have you seen this drama? My daughter's watching it at the moment. Right. And it's Aidan Turner. It's the actor. Who I like. And is it... I can't believe... Michelangelo. You're going with Michelangelo? Yep. OK, Dave, who might you have gone with? I'd go for Van Gogh. Van Gogh. OK, I, Hazel, yeah, let's see sure. if you're right. We really need this. Is it Michelangelo? Oh. Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, it's called Leonardo. Yes, I can't believe that. <laughs> and your daughter's watching She's the series? She's watching it at the moment. Oh, Hazel. She'll yeah. kill me. <laughs> Dave, good pass in the end. Yes. Hazel was wrong. You get the counter. Where should we put it? We'll try and go for another mystery in uh, Drop Zone 1, please. Let's do Drop Zone 1. Hopefully it'll go to the left. So much better saying it in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite that far Should over, but okay. maybe we can get a bit. Yep, through the middle, a couple over the top shelf. Hopefully. And two sneak yeah. out at the bottom. £100 to be there, Dave. Let's take that and put it straight in your bank, and that's going to put you on £1,650. Right, Hazel, we come to you. Time for your first question. The name of which Canadian province is used to represent a letter in the NATO phonetic alphabet? You can play this or you can pass. Is it Quebec? You're going to go with Quebec? Quebec. OK. Dave, what would you have said? Yeah, I would have said the same. Quebec, You'd have said yeah. Quebec as well. Let's see if you're right, Hazel. Is the answer Quebec? Yeah, of course it is. Letter Q. Let's put a counter in and see if we can close a bit of this gap, Hazel. Um, I think I'll try drop zone four. OK, drop zone four, please. So on the left and the right, there's a few, and the top shelf is very full as well, to be fair. Through the mill, mm. what's coming over? Go on now. Go on now. Yes. Oh, that could be nice. Is it going to fill the gap? We need something over the top. Not bad, that, Hazel. Not bad. Three counters, Hazel. £150. Let's take it and put it into your bank. Put you on £1,450. We come back to you, Dave. Time for your second question. The Estadio de Luz, or Stadium of Light, is the popular name for the home ground of which Portuguese football club? I can think of some, but I'm confident to go for it. I'm going to pass it. Passing it over. Hazel, do you know many Portuguese football clubs? I don't. Do you know any? I shall say, is it Juventus? I mean, Juventus, you've got to give me something. Dave, did you have any? Which ones did you have? Is it Porto? Porto. Let's see if Hazel's right. We need this. Is the answer Juventus? It's not Juventus, they're in Italy. Oh. Uh, it's Benfica, in oh, fact. Right. Um, yeah. SL Benfica. Porto is a Portuguese club, Dave, you're right. But you were able to pass that one. Hazel was wrong. So you get the counter. Dave, where should we put it? Drop zone three, please. Drop zone three it is. Settles well. I want it there. <laughs> oh, just filling that top shelf, so sadly nothing yeah. goes for you there, Dave. Didn't want that there. So, Hazel, we come back to you. Time for your second question. In December 2020, which iconic singer-songwriter sold his entire back catalogue of over 600 songs for an estimated $300 million? I'm not sure, so I th think I'll pass to Dave. Passing it over? Yep. Right, Dave, any ideas? So you can name Paul, a few. Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney, mm. OK. Yeah, Hazel, did you have anyone in mind? No, but I would, might say Elton John. You might have gone Elton John. Yeah, I'm Certainly not sure. iconic, aren't they? Yeah. Question is, have you found the right one, Dave? Was it Paul McCartney? <laughs> uh, it was Bob Dylan. Oh. It was no, Bob Dylan. Never, We've never come up with that, that now. No. Sold the whole thing. <laughs> uh, Hazel, you get yeah. the counter, cos Dave was wrong. OK. I'll say drop zone three, please, Ben. Drop zone three. 
Just four counters between you. This could certainly close the gap if that top shelf works for you. Oh, that's perfect. Dave thinks it's perfect. Let's see. I hope so. Is he going to take out that stack with Dave left? It is. Oh. They Might spread slightly. Are they going into the yeah. gaps, though? Oh, it is oh. perfect. Four <laughs> counters dropped, 200 pounds. Let's take that money from the machine and put it into your bank, Hazel. It draws you level on £1,650. We come back to Dave. Dave, time for your third and final question. What surname is shared by the British director of the 2018 film Widows and the former head designer of Givenchy? You know, Ben, I've not got a clue, Ben, and I'm going to pass it. Right, Hazel. Never watched Widows. I can't remember. So designers, can you think of some designers' surnames? I can't even think of any designers <laughs> at the moment. Oh dear. I just have to. I can't think. So to say, Prada. Prada. Yep. You've got to go with something. <laughs> David, you had any British designers? Um, let's go for um, McCartney. McCartney. <laughs> Another yeah. McCartney. Yeah. If it's not Paul, it's Stella. <laughs> Stella, yeah. <laughs> OK, so you got with Prada. Hazel was a British <laughs> film director, wasn't it? And their surname with the former head designer, Givenchy. Was it Prada? No. It's McQueen. Oh. Alexander oh. McQueen Alexander. is the designer yeah. and yeah. Steve McQueen is the film director. Oh, yes. uh, Dave, yes. you get the counter because Hazel was wrong. Where are we going to go? Got some free, please. Free up, please. down that left-hand side. OK. -ish. Not sure. Oh, there you go. Is. That looks a bit oh, better now. Oh, it's going to fill the gap. There's a gap, though, isn't there? Now, that's... Oh, oh <laughs> drops too deep. Oh, oh dear. Dang. That's uh, set it up. So there's nothing dropping for you. You stay on £1,650. Hazel, we come to you. Time for your third and final question. How many unforgivable curses exist in the Harry Potter series? Do you like your Harry Potter? Um, my children do, and they'll know the answer to this. Unforgivable curses. You can pass if you're not sure. I think I'll pass to Dave. Passing it over to really Dave. Dave, Dave. big fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've not got a close, so I'm going to go for a, a lucky number of four. Going with four. Yeah. Okay, Hazel, if you'd had to guess. Um, seven. You might have gone with seven, so a few more. Let's see if you're right, Dave. If you are. It's you that gets the last count into the yeah. machine. If you're wrong, it's Hazel that gets the last counter. Is the answer four? Do you know what, Dave? You're not far off. There's only three. <laughs> oh. The Killing oh. Curse, Cruciatus Curse yeah. and Imperious Curse. No, I would never have got that. Hazel, you get the counter, because oh. sadly, Dave was just out. So you've got the chance... Oh. <laughs> ..to win a place in the final yes. with this drop. Drops on three, please, Ben. Fire up three. Oh, could be good. <laughs> yeah, it's... Something yeah, comes over the top shelf. Through. Need the top shelf to work! Oh! <laughs> oh, oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, it's... Now, perfectly poised on the top shelf. So the last counter has gone in in round three. <laughs> and there is nothing to divide uh. you. You both have £1,650, so it comes down to sudden wow. death. I'm going to ask you both one more question. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you go through and you're playing for our jackpot. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, your opponent will go through and will be playing for the jackpot. Best of luck to both of you. It's been a great game. Here comes your sudden death question. How many hearts cards are there in a standard deck, Dave? There's 13. Of playing cards. There is 13, Dave. Well oh, done. Well done. <laughs> Just managed to squeeze it in in time, Dave. Hazel, I'm so sorry. That's it came okay. down to sudden death, and sadly for you, we're going to be letting you go at the end of the round because that is where we are. Dave is today's winner with £1,650. <laughs> Dave, well very done. nicely done. <laughs> and wow. then sudden death, too. Fantastic stuff. Hazel, I'm so sorry it comes down to such tight margins, but with your £1,650, I'm afraid <laughs> we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing, Hazel. Thank you, Ben. It's been a lovely day. It's been Thank really you. lovely to meet you. What a great game. Wow, Dave. <laughs> I can't believe it. Right by the skin of your teeth, you are through. And now we can start talking about the jackpot and this jackpot counter in particular, which is so much bigger and so much better than all the others, because if you can put it in and get it out, Dave, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can Dave master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break.
Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Dave is our winner today and has managed to get £1,650. Goodness me, that was close, Dave. <laughs> Literally. Skin of my teeth. Absolutely cracking stuff. You have lived right on the edge all the way through, <laughs> but it's seen you to this point. Yes. It's now just you, the machine, and the chance to go home with our jackpot. Have you thought about what you might like to do with the money? <sighs> Honestly, you know, it was his five-year anniversary this year. So Congratulations. What's your one? wife's name? Uh, Danielle. Danielle. Uh, so I would love to go back to Mexico uh, for Cancun. That's where we went on this honeymoon. Amazing. And it's my son's 16th birthday next month. Wow. So hopefully try and get like a family adventure holiday, like quad biking and yeah, yeah somewhat, somewhat fun to do. Really good fun yeah. to celebrate his 16th and also yeah. to be able to go back to Cancun yes. and celebrate your anniversary yes. with Danielle as well. That'd yes. be really special. Fingers crossed we get yeah. to the jackpot then, Dave. It yeah. sounds like you can have a lot of fun spending the money. Yeah, it should be fun. Time to find out whether Dave's going to win today's jackpot in a few moments. I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, you just need to get it out again. Okay. If you want to go home with £20,000, there's still a double on the top shelf there, isn't there, between yes, three and four. Yeah. See if you can get the two to four together. Here's how you'll do it. I'll show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question will be. Yeah. The more you win, the better your chance of getting that jackpot counter. Yeah. Sure you know how it works. <laughs> so, look. What should we do with this jackpot counter of ours then, Dave? Um, three looks tempting with double, but because it's on edge, I'm not going to go for it. So go for me, look at number four, please. Stick Drops with it. There. Let's do it. Four, please. Fire up four, please. Mystery counter on the bottom shelf. There's a lot to take out on the bottom, isn't there? Right, yeah. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Hammers down. It's OK. On the left. Slide in touch. There we go. Might be able to drag yeah. that double forward as we go as Fingers well, which could crossed. be good. Oh, it's wow. tilting. Yeah. Want it to go. <laughs> so they're all poised on the edge. So the jackpot counter nice and flat. There's a mystery counter and a lot to collect along the bottom of three and four, which hopefully we can do as we go. Yeah. Right then, let's have a look at your categories. This is what we've got for you. Film, science, sport, geography, music and food and drink. You can play them in any order. So when you're ready, where do you want to start? How many? We'll start front bottom and we'll work up. So we'll have okay. food and drink, please. Food and drink, how many? You have know what you don't sell three, please. Food and drink for three. Associated with South Asian cuisine, what name is given to a type of flaky, unleavened flatbread? Nasi goreng, larp or parata? Oof. Um, Do you recognise any of those? I've never heard of... Nasi, nasi goreng. Nasi goreng or lap. Lap. I've heard of the parata. I think, looking at that there, because I love my spicy food and I'm, I'm surprised I've not seen anything, so... Yeah, I'll go for the parata, please. Parata? Yeah, just a, just a guess. We're going to go with parata, please. A flaky, unleavened flatbread from South Asia. Is it parata? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Nazi goreng is a sort of stir-fry. Nice. And larp is a sort of minced ground meat. Minced right. Ground meat. That's... But parata, exactly what we needed. Well yes, done. Yes, definitely, yeah. Brilliant. Let's go for drop zone four, please. Let's have four. It'd be nice to get the other mystery as well. So, yeah, we'll... Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's lots to play for on both sides of the drop zone, isn't there? So... And there's a bit yeah, of a hole to fill as well, but it's, it's going to have to happen. Yeah, it's just tidying it up. It's there perfect. OK, two more to go in. Four again? Yes, please. Four up. Please don't ride. Oh, yes, it is. Ah. <laughs> might, get a little, might get a little bit of something, Hopefully. won't you? Hopefully. Move that silver one forward and shift the weight on the ones in front. Oh, <laughs> wow. How is that staying on? <laughs> <laughs> and one more to go in there. Uh, drop some four. Four up, please. There's nowhere else on that shelf, is there, for it to go now? Stop. Stop. Oh. Well, hopefully get some counters over. There we go, yes, go. yes, yes. Start collecting some money. Where's the mystery going to go this time? Yes. Lovely. Yes. Seven counters, so £350. That's lovely. Yeah, no, it's 2, good. £2,000. Nice. The mystery prize drops as well. 
You've won an overnight hotel stay for two, courtesy of De Vere. Oh, wow. Well, this, yeah, my wife's going to be, yeah. Gonna be good well. foot Spoiled, what? <laughs> yeah, I get the impression is. you were sent with strict instructions to pick up as many prizes yes, as possible. Yes, it was definitely done, and <laughs> hopefully I can tick that box as You well can. Now. You've done a great job. Let's go back to the categories, then. So we're working from bottom to top. Music's next. Uh, yeah, we'll go for music, please. For how many? Uh, three, please. Music for three. Sunflower, congratulations, and wow are UK hits by which American rapper? Eminem, Post Malone, Tyler, the creator. Right, well, I know it's definitely not Eminem. OK. I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of, like, drawn towards Post Malone. Um, yeah, let's go for Post Malone. Post Malone? I, yeah, I've never heard of Tyler, the creator, so, okay. uh, yeah, Post We're Malone. We're going to go down the middle with Post Malone, please. So the one we were sure it's not is Eminem, so yeah. then it's between the others. Is the answer Post Malone? Yes! <laughs> Get in there. Right. <laughs> nice stuff, Dave. You're finding the right answers, which is all Oof. you need to do. Yes. Let's keep it going. Drop yeah. some four. Yes, please, Ben. Let out, please. Come on, to the left, please. There you go. Oh. Steady. Oh. Nearly. Nearly. Nearly left, wasn't it? Nearly. Still collecting some... Uh... Oh, nice. yes. Nice. <laughs> Ten counters nice. drop in. £500. Brilliant. Money steams up 2500 Two more to go. Drop zone four. Uh, yes, please, Ben. Drop zone four again, please. Right, coming hard on the left. We really would like to see time. that jackpot move, wouldn't we? <laughs> Get over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just not quite it's... getting there. Yeah, it's just teasing. Couple through the middle. Nice. Three more drop in, another £150. That's great. It's £2,650. One more to go in. Drop some four, please, Ben. Four up, please. Oh, come just, on. It's just not going, is it? Not yet. Not yet. Still early oh. days. A few counters, though. Hopefully. Three or four. Yeah, four yeah. more. Four more to finish off with. Another £200. Up to £2,850. So the money's nice, gone up yeah, really nicely. Great. Not getting at that jackpot <laughs> counter. Not, not moving just yet. Right, let's go back to the categories. So, geography's next as we head up the list. Oh, this is... Yeah, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Uh, geography for three, please. Geography three. Mount Mitchell is the highest peak in which North American mountain range? Appalachian Mountains, Rocky Mountains, or the Ozark Mountains? I've not heard of the applicator. Appalachian. That, thank you for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, only heard of Bozak on Netflix, so I'm going to go for the Rocky Mountains. Ben, Rocky Mountains? Yeah, it's the one you know of? Yeah. We're going true. down the middle with Rocky Mountains. So, is Mount Mitchell in the Rockies? <laughs> Appalachian. Right, yeah, Appalachian no, Mountains. No, no, yeah, not, okay. not a clue. It would have been a bonus had we got that. Yeah. Let's go back to the categories. We've got sports, science and film. Uh, sport for three, please. Sport for three. The Rockhampton Rocket was the nickname of which Australian tennis champion? Leighton Hewitt, Pat Cash or Rod Laver? I don't think it was Leighton Hewitt or Pat Cash. And because of Rod, it's like the Rod the Rocket, Hampton, yeah. I'll go for Rod Laver, please. Rod Laver? Yeah, please. We're going to go with Rod Laver. Rod the Rockhampton Rocket Laver. Yeah. yeah it works, doesn't it? Yeah, alliteration. Got, yeah it can't be Pat Cash. it got to be. Is the answer Rod Laver? Yes. 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 Born there, Rockhampton. Right. And what's the rocket? Well done. Well, let's get this uh, jackpot counter on the bottom, hopefully. Drop zone four? Yes, please. Right it up. It's just not one. It's a seventh counter in. Oh, and at they've least all it's gone flat. that way. At least it's far. Maybe take that black counter down with a bit of lateral. Hopefully. Mm, it's got a little nice shell. Okay. Two more to go. Uh, four, please. Drop zone four. <laughs> okay, the other way. <laughs> Come on, machine. Hopefully, a bit, a bit more. Uh, Couple on that side. Yeah, hopefully. Closing in on £3,000 in the machine. Yep. That's another £100. Takes us very close, 2950 Yep. One more to go in. Uh, four, please. Drop zone four. 
Ah, come on now. Yes. This, oh! Is it going to just sneak past it? I think it yeah, is. Yeah, it definitely is. Oh, no! Okay. <laughs> Hopefully the... Oh, what? Don't think the black count is going to go. Yeah. One sneaks in. Let's give you 50 pounds. Takes up to 3,000. The money's going up very nicely for that jackpot counter. It's just oh. not budging. Just tucked away in the corner. It's so annoying. Back to the categories. We've got science and film. Uh, science for three, please. Science for three. Which scientist discovered the laws of planetary motion? Johannes Kepler, Wilhelm Röntgen, Dmitri Mendeleev. I've only heard of one of the names, is that Johannes Kepler. Um, I've not heard of the other two, so, yeah, I'll go for that one, please, Ben. Johannes Kepler? Yes, please. We're going to light up Johannes Kepler, please. So the scientist that discovered the laws of planetary motion... Is it Johannes Kepler? <laughs> <laughs> well done. So Röntgen oh was uh, discovered X-rays. Right. Mendeleev was the periodic table. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. It's just yeah. Look, I guess it's, yeah. it works, doesn't yeah. it? So yeah. It's I don't great. care how you find the answer. No, though. no, it's good. You're doing um, brilliantly. Right. Drop yeah. some four. Drop some four, please, Ben. Come on. Let's find the drop on the jackpot. Four up. Oh, it's just not doing it at all. Oh, it's so painful when it just doesn't give us a little sniff, just even yeah. a sniff of hope. At least okay. it's flat. Maybe bring that silver one in the middle down. Yep, there we go. One drops in. Let's give you fifty pounds. Takes up three thousand fifty. Yeah, I'll try four again, and if it doesn't go, I might swap it. So drops on four, please. Four then. again, please. Yes, at last. <laughs> amazing. Amazing how often that happens, you know. This machine of ours Ugh. thinks it's being ignored and then suddenly it gives it to life. And the double's just put itself oh. in a very nice position too, hasn't it? It's Yeah, it's definitely uh, opened it up a little bit 50 more. pounds drops in, takes the £3,100. And we finally got the jackpot moving. One more to go in. Uh, drops on four, please, Ben. Four again. Do you know, it was just <laughs> thinking about it and it rolled Very right. Lucky. And the rider ride. as well. Yeah. <laughs> so close to it being just perfect. OK, but we've got it moving, yes. Dave. We have got it moving. So it can be done. Yes. We're not far off. Film's the last category. Go for film for free, please, Ben. Film for three. What profession does Adam Sandler's character have in the 2019 film Uncut Gems? Minor, jeweler, or bank clerk? I know I've seen it advertised, but we've never watched it. And I know it's definitely not a minor. Because it's uncut gems, um, I'm just going to have a guess of jeweler. Jeweler? Yeah, please. We're going to go with jeweler then. So you've seen it advertised. Yeah. Uncut gems is the film. Adam Sandler, does he play a jeweler? Yes, he does. <laughs> Howard Ratner yes. is the name of his character. Right. That was a right. Gentleman, well, um, yeah, well. We'll see if we can get off the top, so we'll go drop some four, please. Four up, please. <laughs> yeah, it's just not wanting to play. Maybe oh, take there. a bit of money, which would be good. Yeah, there we go. Three more drop in, another £150. It's £3,250. Two more to go in. Yeah, I'm not going to get the jackpot, so I'm going to switch it up a bit. And okay. Let's see if I can go for mystery. So um, drop some one, please. Drop some one, it is. Down the left now. Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, that's good. Stay on it. Stay on that's that silver good. counter. Stay on it, stay on it, Come stay on it, stay on it. Yeah. Yes. Is that mystery going to go? <laughs> First time of asking. Yeah! <laughs> 50 right. pounds for you. Takes up to 3,300 pounds. And you won another prize, which is a cookery lesson with a professional chef plus three months of live stream cook alongs, courtesy of Anne Smart School of Cookery. Ah, oh, well, learn something new every day. Fantastic so great stuff. stuff, yeah. And one more to go in. So what do you think? Um, now? We'll go for three, please. Top side three? Yeah. Fire it up, please. <laughs> oh, 
that looks Yeah, it doesn't look too okay. bad. The bottom shelf is full, if we can get something over. Here we go. Anything to drop here, Dave? Ooh, oh. <laughs> Sadly, it's been a real struggle to get the jackpot anywhere yeah. near moving. We've got it moved once, and that's it. So usually at this stage, Dave, as I'm yeah. sure you know, I'd offer you a trade, three final counters for what you've got so far in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. Given how it's gone and just how tough it's been to get yeah. it moving at all, I think I know what you're going to say. I need to ask nonetheless, though. Yeah. Would you like to take the money or the trade? Uh, take the money, Ben. I think that's very wise. Well done. You're taking home £3,300. Wow. And you've cleaned us out of prizes as well. <laughs> yes. You've won your boozy picnic hamper, your hotel stay and your cookery lessons. Yeah, it's, uh, just what a fantastic day it's been. It's unforgettable. It's truly amazing. Thank you. Oh, we're thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. You've been a great contestant, Thank Dave. You. It's been lovely playing alongside you. I'm just really, really chuffed you've had such a good time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for coming and taking part. Thank you, Ben. So there you go. Dave's leaving with £3,300. He's cleaned us out of prizes. The one thing we'd have loved to have given him, but we just couldn't because it's still there on the top shelf is that jackpot counter. That's going to live to fight another drop. Join us next time when the fate of three more players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye. <laughs>